Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, I did my hair and makeup for you, but that's as far as we got. I'm still wearing like a t-shirt and boxers here, but that is because it's Sunday and we are getting ready to make a Sunday dinner in the crock pot again. I promise I don't always use the crock pot. It's just happened to be back to back, but it's so easy, especially when the kids are all flying around, you just throw everything in there. And I want to share one of those great recipes with y'all today. And I'll also tell you while I'm making it a different ways, like how you can add things for extra flavor or extra spice or uh, whatever. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got this boneless, skinless chicken whole pack for, um, I paid 1063 because I have a Winn-Dixie card, but normally it would have been $17. But y'all, I don't even know if you can tell, but these are huge. Like these, these chicken breasts are so big. So what I'll do is I'll take out half for our dinner tonight and then I'll bag up the rest and then I will freeze them. Um, and then you are going to need some cream cheese. I'm going to use half a block of this. Uh, one packet of brown gravy mix and one can of cream of chi cream of chicken soup and then of course your crock pot I already have my liner in law there y'all already know so let me just show you how we just gonna dump all this in there and you're gonna put it on low for about six to eight hours you can check it at the six hour point and see but yeah so let's get into it Okay, y'all, I hope this lighting is a little bit better for y'all than last time, but here we go. I have opened up this packet of chicken, and I am going to, let me just, I hate touching this nasty chicken, so chicken's just gross to me. I'll touch anything, but chicken, ugh, it's got a gross tape, or a gross texture to it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use, you know, there's not a lot of us, and we have the babies and everything, so I'm just going to use, um, three breasts for me but you can use as many as you want for your family and so i put those three best breasts in there and like i said the rest of them i'm going to bag up and let me pull you up a little just so you can see in the pot what i'm doing here okay and here is my cream of chicken that i just have one can you can double this if you want to totally up to you uh, I'm going to just put this all over the top of it and you don't it doesn't have to be perfect or pretty or anything like that we are just going to put this in there and then later on you know if you, if you want to just spread it around or whatever but it don't have to be perfect just put some on that chicken and then later on once that chicken starts to cook and everything that's when we can worry about you know mixing it up getting it all in there whatever so now I've got my one packet of brown gravy and I'm just gonna sprinkle that all on there. And like I said, we don't have to, I'm not mixing this today with anything. Um, normally I mix my packets of gravy beforehand with like beef broth or whatever, but I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna pour that gravy all over it. And then this is a, a cream cheese, a block of cream cheese. So I did half a block, which is four ounces and I went and Cut it off here and I'm just gonna throw that right on top okay my boys my boys are in there napping I can hear them talking okay and then let me see let me pull you over here so this is what it's looking like right now okay and this is what we are going to let cook for just a little bit now me for my family I like a uh, pepper so I'm not gonna put a ton of pepper um, just because of the kids, but I do like that little extra something in there. So I'm just going to get a little thing of pepper and this is totally up to you personal preference, but I am going to just put a little pepper on top here. And then you can also, I have added a can of diced tomatoes to this before, and it is amazing. My husband, Matt, he does not like tomatoes, but before when I added the diced tomatoes to um, this specific recipe, he really liked that. So I highly suggest putting those in if you are a tomato lover. And then, let me see, you can see the, the thing in there. The spice, if you, if you want it to be a little bit spicier, um, you can add some cayenne or whatever if you don't have the kids, or maybe your kids like spicy stuff, I don't know. But we are actually going to wait and this is gonna get all nice and shredded and we are going to serve it over rice. Everything is packed in, ready to go. I have it on low, and this is what it's looking like. So it is 
140 or so right now and so I will open this up around um, 7.30 and I'll show y'all what it's looking like and we will be ready to eat dinner. This is what is looking like over here. I'm about to mix this all up and then I will show y'all. So this is it, it after I have stirred it all up and everything. I got that cream cheese and the gravy packet all mixed in there and it is looking so good y'all it really is okay y'all so that is it for the crock pot side of things now if you want to you can take it just how it is right now serve that over rice or however you want to just next to some mashed potatoes or whatever with your other sides but i am going to also show y'all how i'm going to take this and make it into a casserole using i'm going to mix the rice in with it and then i'm going to be topping it with some cheddar cheese and some ritz crackers so i will add both of these recipes below so that you can have both options so now um this is coming uh, almost to a full boil so i'm gonna get my rice out cook that rice up and i like to add um, a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little bit of salt to the rice just because you don't want the rice to be uh, really plain. Our rice is done. Here's our rice. So I'm just gonna pour the rice directly into the chicken and I can mix it up in here and then it'll be easier. This makes so much. This, I don't even know if you can tell, but it made so much of it. And there is still a little bit left in the bottom in there, but whatever's left, I'm just gonna give it to Reba, the pig. And, um, but it made so much. That was only three chicken breasts and then all the ingredients I told you how to put in there. These Ritz, just the original Ritz crackers, you can use whatever you want. And then I just have a little bit of cheese. I think it'll be really good just to top it off with a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna spread around my chicken and rice mixture into here. And just pat it down. Just like that. Ooh, look at that steam coming off of it. Sorry, y'all. You hear all those cartoons in the background? You can break these up in the bag or if you want to do what I'm about to do and just put them in your hand and just do this, you know, whatever. If you are making this for people that are not your family, then don't do it in your hand. But this is just for my people, y'all. Just so y'all know, if I ever cook for any of y'all, I will be doing this in a bag. I will not do it with my hand. But this is just me and my husband and our babies. This is what your casserole will be looking like now, so you can put it in the oven for 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. I also wanted to show y'all real quick how easy this cleanup is with your crock pot bag. Look at that, nothing in there. That is just some moisture. You just wipe that out, good to go. And this is what we're left with y'all if you decide to do the casserole after the 10 minutes i actually left it on broil low broil for three minutes and it turned out absolutely perfect let me know what y'all think about this recipe below if you try it or if there's anything else that you want me to try and show y'all on this channel if not i'll see y'all next week's video have a great week